Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's eight o'clock, so it's our second opportunity to have a look at the one day special that myself and the lovely Joe Channon launched at six o'clock. Now she's getting herself ready. Or you, you got a plan in progress mm -hmm. there? I have. Lovely. Looking forward to seeing what you've got planned for us. Now, of course, our one day special was launched at six o'clock and it's a deal as is every day. It was launched for 24 hours, but um, over 20 percent of the stock has gone. And that's the whole day's stock. And of course, we're launching a brand new, um, well, not brand new brand, because, of course, we've heard of That's Crafty before. But they've teamed up with the lovely Kelly Horton, seen that she's such an amazing artist and how well her style and her designs lend themselves to stamps. And as you can see, here we've got set two and set three which are part of your one day special now you might think that's a bit of a funny place to start why haven't you started with number one well don't worry we've got number one and four coming up but the reason you've got this kind of little um kind of grouping that we've got here is because you've got a nice variety of different style characters you'll notice some of them standing up as you can see there you've got some that are sitting down and you've got somewhere you kind of got their head and shoulders or above waist so you've got a nice selection of different styles within this set hence set two and three being your one day special now you'll also notice on your screen there they are not by themselves you are going to get four fabulous crafty board sheets which um, let's face it that's um, crafty are famous for and it's a fabulous way for you to add dimension to your project without adding bulk and that is the key thing these fabulous boards you can see that they're not very thick at all but they are durable and they are beautiful in design so you can see you've kind of got framework elements with here variety of different sizes little corner pieces you really have got scope in different sizes with regards to these and these are included within your bundle now of course the beauty is you've got a saving and that saving means that you can take advantage of these for that fabulous price on your screen there of just £33.94 and these are some of the things you could be doing with them now we've got lots of substrates on the show for you as well so if you like the look of this kind of boiler system that we've got going on here i will show you about those in just a few months but if you joined us at six o'clock you will have seen how joe was working on a fabulous project using one of the skinny boxes the skinny what did we call them were they skinny boxes skinny frames um, i forgot skinny shrines, shrines yes I couldn't remember for a moment and you can see you've got your frame there with your inbuilt cogs and of course some fabulous elements there that have been created using things like the stencils that we've got on the show joe taught us how to do all this during the hour but of course the beauty is these fabulous designs you can make something quite detailed as we've seen or simply make a nice little birthday card there you go you can see one of those sassy ladies featuring there so 295 812 will get you set two and set three but i know you wanting set one and four and also a lovely set of accessories that will work with all four of those sets and that's what we've got coming up next now you can get hold of these as they are as a set of four you don't have to go for the one day special if you don't want to but to be honest they would really work well together and you would have everything all the releases up to date because this is a launch now you can see more of those characters appearing here and um, you've got a little bit of kind of day of the dead going on here a little bit of steampunk and then what you will see is an additional set of two stamps that will kind of help um, and they're accessories, so a supportive stamps, you could say. Some of these are bold enough to be used by themselves as well. But they are just a lovely array of stamps that are really going to help you get the most out of not over your one day special, but set one and four as well. Now, over 20% of the stock of these have gone as well, so I think lots of you are going for these too. And the details are on your screen, as you can see, with your flexi buy, which means if you're wanting to get hold of these, you can spread the cost over two months, just £27.48p. But what it does mean is you could add add in your one day special which is featuring at the bottom of your screen there so you're probably looking at a little over well just shy of 16 pounds additional on top of that payment will get you all of the stamps to date and of course those fabulous um craft um, crafty board elements as well works out at just shy of 45 pounds on your initial payment today and of course if you're a freedom member that will be delivered to your door just have a second payment in a month's time but you will have so much fun stamping and creating with these wonderful characters you'll be so glad that you took advantage of them 038920 if you fancy getting hold of these the details are there and we're keeping the details of the one day special at the bottom of the screen so if you fancy popping those in as well you can do 
But as I mentioned, those bases, those skinny shrines, to be careful because my teeth can't quite get round that phrase. But there you go, I've managed it so far. Um, now, this is brilliant because you're actually getting three of these sets within here. So you've got three of your baseboards, as you can see here. And this is the beautiful thing that they're all laser cut MDF, um, not overly cumbersome, but still sturdy. So don't think that just because they're the skinnier board that there's anything that to worry about. It's not, they are incredibly sturdy. And of course, everything has been engineered to slot together beautifully. So as Joe showed us in the show at six o'clock, this is your base. So you've got your base there, you've got your side elements, and then you add your frame at the front. And your frame has already got certain elements of a steampunk nature already fused in with them but then you have some additional gears and cogs and these are designed to be exactly the same size so you can sit them quite neatly straight over the top if you're wanting to or use them anywhere you like around that frame doesn't stop there though because you've got that fabulous arch that's featuring within this set as well and there you go you can make these into little shrine pieces you can see there using the shrines the rectangles the cogs and of course you've got the top and the arch feature in there as well so just all of that I mean there's a lot there's, I've used a lot of breath there a lot of breath. If we were talking breath per kind of uh, penny, there's a lot of breathage in that one. So £15.49. So if you're wanting to get hold of this one, it's been very, very busy, very popular. Rapidly approaching, wait for this, 40% of the stock. We only saw these at six o'clock and we had huge quantities. So there's a lot of these that are on their way to other people's homes out of our uh, fabulous, well, I don't know if they're in the warehouse, I don't know where they are, but I think that's crafty I've got them at the moment, but they'll be on the way. 279135 if you're wanting those. Then, of course, those lovely elements that we saw featuring, wait for this, the boiler house. I love this idea. Now, the boiler house, you've got a series of these elements, as you can see see here again gears and cogs featuring within them and again 40% of the stock has gone look at these when you start adding those kind of rusty patinas to these and really giving them the age with all that texture and that grittiness in there they really do come to life and of course that kind of nature of the steampunk is echoed throughout these which is why they work so well with a one day special again more of those little steampunk characters those lovely little ladies making appearance within here again and of course there's lots of ways you can work with these now you have got a couple of different elements within these um, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock of these ones have gone as well I love this one because it's almost like a pendulum element where you've got that larger gear there the smaller gear at the bottom there but of course adding your detail to these you are going to have some amazing crafty sessions with these love this I love that rusty looks like it should be way heavier than it is because it looks like it's proper metal but it's not so if you fancy getting hold of these, £11.99, pets again, so incredibly affordable, 073098 for those. Now, your crafty board, it's always popular, and even more so when you've got the deal that we're bringing to you here. Perfect accompaniment to work with, your cards, your projects, and again, as I've said before, it's not adding any bolt. Loads and loads of wings and gears and cogs and timepieces within this as well really lovely bundle you're getting four of these sheets and 30 percent of the stock has gone of these ones just 11 pounds and 96 pence amazing value for money and uh, the results you can get with these i mean you can still paint these turn them into um, elements that look as if they've been made of metal very very clever base for you to get started with and of course they go they work with those lovely ladies so so well um at nine <coughs> Sorry, I had a little bit of a tickle, suddenly pop up out of nowhere there. 986 758 if you want in these, and £11.96. So, a very popular bundle if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, of course, I am not here on my own. We had some amazing demonstrations from Jo at, um, at 6 o'clock, one of which we didn't quite come to the end of, but she was featuring some of these wonderful stencils within there and uh, using a lovely kind of gritty paste in them. Now, these, some of them um, are new in the size that we've got here. Here. So you might have seen them on a larger scale before, but these have been scaled down. It's not like the large ones have been chopped up. These ones have been resized. I love the one that we're looking at there with the gears and the cogs where the mask is included in there. Like those as a pairing. Also like the brick wall one. Kind of keen on the numbers and I like the clock face as well. So I might as well add them all in. 
might as well go for them all 9.99 for each pairing and they're only six by six now these are some of the latest ones but of course that's crafty have a huge range of um, stencils so it's always worth keeping note of that item number because at any time you can come to the brand section of our website and find all the wonderful um, stencils that they have available for us so you can revisit this as often as you like and you can see those newer ones featuring just on your screen right there we're going to hand it over now to our lovely joe because of course she's got some amazing demonstrations so i can't wait to see what you've got planned for us joe what are you up to right okay so before we start uh the demonstration for this hour i thought i would if it's okay just just show you this that i did finish off um <coughs> in the break and um so basically i've i popped my lovely steampunk darling into the corner there and then what i did was um i added a little bit of um rose gold the actual one of the um, multi-surface paints and then i've added a little bit of the purple in in the um satin inks because then that really married with the the purple tones and the deep fuchsias and everything in the lady so um i'm really pleased with that it's it's come out really nice i've just got to paint around the edges and then that's all done so you could see it's really so so effective using the frames so and then she just perches really lovely on there doesn't she like so that. put that one to one side now i thought what we could do in this hour is show you that steampunk also can be quite pretty Ooh, okay i know it's unusual for me to do pretty but there you go <laughs> so um right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to use some of the crafty board i love this um it's so um it is so usable i know that's um a, a very easy phrase to to actually say but it really is um what i'm going to do first though before we do any of that i'm going to stamp up an image and then we are actually going to color it i'm actually Ooh. going to i'm going to be nice and calm and color <laughs> i won't obviously won't take as much time as i normally do when i'm coloring but we will do this um using various mediums okay so i'm going to be using the sprays and also the inks now i'm actually let me show you which one um we're going to be using uh, this one which is out of set three i do love that what um kelly's done is as well as the individual characters standing we've also got these that are in these lovely ovals so they really make a, a, a huge statement piece don't they so um just going to let me just stamp that onto there the other thing about this one is it's um it cuts out really quickly because of course it's just the oval so we will go and we'll do the whole thing there you go so just uh, obviously like we said in the first hour you could use your stamp presses if you prefer um i'm just making sure i've got all the detail especially in the face and the hair because that's it just really is superb kelly's over the moon that everybody's loving them by the oh. way <laughs> um, it's nice of her to, to allow us to use that artwork that's right obviously you might recognize the name from there kelly and you might indeed recognize the characters well of course um we have seen kelly here at Achanda with her fabulous um coloring in books and uh, the fabulous artwork that she puts in there so mm. yeah so uh and there are more to come <laughs> So we have got a lot more to look forward to. In fact, she did say, she did post on Facebook that as she was watching the show, she was having a little play with some of her new designs. So that's um, rather exciting because we haven't seen those yet. <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing. I've actually um, put the super, super fine embossing powder over the top. This is my preference. I do prefer just to do that because it's... Um, it gives me a nice outline where to actually colour. So, won't be two seconds doing this. There we go. So you can see it really brings out the detail as well when you emboss it. You see how fantastic the, the stamps are, though. Really amazing. I can't. I cannot praise that scruffy highly enough for the quality of their stamps really super so it gives you that really lovely gloss as well 
And as we said earlier on, I, I think these would look super in black and white as well. I really do. I might even do something in black and white tomorrow. Go off the plan. <laughs> right, so we're going to do the colouring on this one. Um, so when I do colouring, I do tend to um, take the, the sheet. And Kelly's obviously done all the hard work for us because if you have a look at the image, even if you don't do exactly the same colours, which I'm not going to do, you, you do get the uh, perspective of where you want the light and the shade and 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 all that um going on so um i'm going to take the aqua uh, and we use that earlier to actually give that patina look remember on the um uh, where's my paintbrush here we go onto the frame so this uh, the aqua is a really great one to have okay right so what i'm going to do is i'm at, i'm going to be using um the aqua and possibly a purple, maybe. Oh, okay. What do you think? Do you think aqua and purple? You choose, actually. What do you think? You you have a mm. you have a choice. I kind of like the idea of the purple. The purple. Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Now, when you're using the sprays, mm. um, the idea is um, well, I I find that is to build up. Okay. Don't try and overdo the colouring with the sprays. Um, on your on your first go, okay, because it it tends to um, just pull. It doesn't tend to actually um, uh, go. It goes where you want it to, because obviously that's what you've done. You've painted it in, but um, what you need to do is to get your your light and shade. You actually need to go over the top and give that some um, depth. So you start off with a base layer and then yeah, go in where you need deeper. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just give it a little bit of a colouring over and then then add where you want it to be. So, of course, whatever method of colouring that you prefer. I know some. I'm I'm a huge fan of um, oil-based pencils, especially for my parchment crafting. Uh, the Faber Castells. Um, I, I just love my Faber Castells as well, but that's very different colouring it. You know, it, it's all very um, depends on what you, what what the effect is that you you want, of course. But like we it. said before, Kelly's done all the work for us because all the um, all the shaded areas are all there. Now, what I, I love this is character. When I look at her, she reminds me of you know that kind of the spaghetti westerns with the, the yes, ladies. That yes, would be yeah, she is, all isn't she? With the bustle and yeah, the lace and yeah. all of that. She really is. I, I mean, they, they are steamput darlings, but she really is. A, she is a darling, isn't she? Oh, she yeah. is super. So I'm going to go back up here, just to put a little bit of colour into the the edges. There, so now straight away you can see that's bringing that darker. And of course, with the, with the sprays you use such a little amount, you Please. really do. And everything's water-based, which is always great. And if yeah. I remember rightly, when Kelly was here, she got a series of her books. I remember that she was very keen on ch uh, teaching people how to get their, oh. make their own characters as well. I oh, yes, that. yes, yeah, those that, are <laughs> those that are clever enough to be able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, and why not? She's she's just such a clever, uh, clever girl. And I know she was saying because um, I said, oh, you ought to do some colouring workshops. And she said, oh, do you think people will be interested? I'm thinking, really? Of course they will. <laughs> <laughs> Use your talent. <laughs> so just bringing that darker in there. And then if we just go into these. Um, gathers in a sleeve and there we go let's try and keep talking because I tend to get quiet when I'm colouring in I know it's hard to believe isn't it <laughs> right I'm, I'm not going to do blue hair I don't know what colour hair I'm going to do yet 
but I am going to give her some blue eye. Oh, you know yes. Like? Just a little bit in there. Right, so I want to a little bit of blue here. So it's really easy to colour. They're, they're really not difficult at all. And of course, uh, I think, and I'm, I'm going to be doing some um, decoupaging tomorrow because they shout out to be decoupage. That's a good There's point, more, actually, more, yeah. Yeah, and those kind of little beads that are hanging down from the parasol, I mean, you could use Oh, like, you could just put yeah, little liquid yeah, pearls and things. Little pearls, little gems, yeah. So we decided on purple, did we? Well, I kind of like the idea of purple, but it's your piece of artwork, no, Jared. No, no, let's just go with purple. Now, I'm going back to the satin inks because I don't have um, a purple that I want to use in my sprays so but i'm watering this down a little bit because i don't want it too thick so mm -hmm. that's that's the that's the ideal with these that they really are so very very useful for that so so uh there we go so that's really lovely vibrant purple that one okay. so again w um with with this um just give it a coat leave it for a minute just go underneath her umbrella with this as well, a little parasol. But her hair is just adorable, isn't it? Just the way that her hair is just um, co uh, illustrated, it really is beautiful. Well, this is it, because of course you take a lot of guidance from where those lines are. Of course, and, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, and, th and this is the thing, it, it's enabling people to really have a go and it really makes you feel as if you are, well, you are creating, obviously, you're creating this piece because you're colouring it in, but um, yeah, it's just, uh, I think, I think colouring is, is just really special to do because it, it's, um, it's, I personally find it very, um, very rewarding, very peaceful to sit and colour. Well, it's nice to, to kind of colour in, but with paint it kind of changes it to a little bit as well, doesn't yeah. it, playing around with yeah. your, your brushes and things. I love all the little, I mean, the attention to detail. I mean, you can oh. see around her, ba her waist there, she's kind of got the little test tubes, I think, yes. there, and she's got the, the padlock on the chain for a, a belt and loads of ideas. Yeah, it really, they're, they're superb. She's got um, a handbag here and then, of course, all your all your bits and pieces there and of course you've got that obviously that nod to the steampunk with having the test tubes there so um uh do flesh no we'll do the flesh in a minute um i always that always stumps me uh, but i do get there in the end um so what color hair should we have we need something quite trendy what color what should we go with is anybody shouting from upstairs? Well, we're getting a variety. We get some very natural colours. Oh, kind natural. Of sure. You want to go? Strawberry blonde is one of the uh, suggestions, blonde. or Ooh. maybe a cerise pink, or cerise. Oh, let's go pink. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we could almost put like a, a strip of colour through, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you, you want could. To you could it's make your a design. Could, yeah, you could give her the only person that's got actually some great colours in their hair at the moment would be this young lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could use all the colours, all the colours of the rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine how busy the hairdressers are going to be on Saturday. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, email in if you've got a hair appointment on Saturday. <laughs> well, I've got one on um, Monday. Have you on Saturday? Yeah. No, on Monday. Oh, mm, I got in early. I've got to wait till the twenty third, but. What about you, Ben? Have you got one? Yeah, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh, you've I done well. You did get in there. He's a bit <laughs> of a style guru, you see. Yeah. He's an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so we'll give our handbag a little bit of a purple. So I've just changed. There we go. And we go um and now we need to do um we need to do her eyebrows but she's going to have to have her eyebrows the same color as her hair because else that just won't go will it so 
Oh, this is a really trendy, trendy young lady, this one. I That's love the this, thing, you, you can see, literally, you could literally do whatever what, you want. You could, you could. I'm just going to darken up in, in the, the top there, just give a... I love these satin inks because if you put them on a little bit thicker, you can actually create real definition with them as well. Because they're an acrylic base... Mm, she's lovely. Can we I get a trick? Of course, those satin inks. Tell playing. me about the satin inks, because um, we, we were chatting about the pearl ones earlier on. Now, these, again, mm. they're water-based, but they're very intense with the colour, I can see with these. So yes. Can we use them in other ways? Yes, you can. So what we can do with them is we can also mix them in with um, uh, any pastes. We can also use them with our waxes to colour wax, which is quite clever. Um, in fact, we could maybe have a little bit of a go with that oh, shortly. Okay. So um, let me just uh, create a nice green there. So I think we'll just put a nice... So Jo, do you find yourself kind of colouring in toppers like this with not necessarily a, um, an end project in mind? Do you build up a collection of these and then yes. you kind of just pick them out when you need them? Yes, I do. And that's what I did with this, these actually. I, I, I've been working on them since I got the stamps. I've been sort of playing around with them, um, mostly on an evening, um, colouring in, and then I work, um, I've obviously got an idea of where I'm going if I need to use other products with them, but yeah, um, but yeah I do tend to sit and, and colour, as I like to say, as a relaxation actually, because um, it's, uh, I do find that it is something that sort of chills you out quite a bit, especially on parchment as well. I oh, love painting point, on parchment. Actually, yeah? yeah. And these, w these would look fantastic on parchment. They would. Um, right, so I have actually got a completed one of the other lady that I'll okay. do because I know that we need to press on because it's no good Well, shall me. I do a little bit of a, a review yeah. and then come back to you? Is that OK? Absolutely, yes. Because, okay. yeah. of course, Joe is working with just one of those stamps within your one-day special. And the key thing is you're going to get two sets. You're going to get set number two, set number three. So, of course, you're going to have that um, almost like portrait um, element that we just saw Joe working with. You've got a second one featuring within there as well. We've got the girl with the little steampunk um, goggles, as you can see there with her hair in a little fishtail um, plait, as you can see. Gorgeous flowers there as well. And of course, you can multi-stamp those flowers and build up the decoupage, as you can with the little kind of bag there that was sitting there and the disarray that we saw Joe working with. You've got the additional stamps there as well. Now, you've got two sets, set two and set three, um, and uh, it's kind of put together. So you've got a nice series of standing up characters, as you can see. You've also got the portrait, the sitting down characters, and of course, a few of those additional elements to work with them. Set one and set four, I'll be telling you about in a few moments moments but in with your one day special not only have you got those brand new stamps you've got your crafty board and your crafty board is brilliant because it literally pops out I mean, you can see here how it just literally just give it a little bit of a tease um, just be gentle with some of those little curly elements because what they can tend to do like when you do your die cutting they can kind of get coiled around each other so just take a little bit of time but those main pieces like the frame you can see there just how easy those elements come out there and of course they are perfect base um, bases should I say for you to work on. Now I've got a variety of different sizes so again your different characters whether it's the standing up characters or the seated characters are going to fit within there and of course you've got lots and lots of different elements within there that you'll be able to work with. Now the beauty of your crafty board is um, I mean it's very flexible as you can see there but it also it's not adding any weight to anything and that's the nice thing. Nice and light as well so of course when you're adding your colours to those you're getting some trueness with regards to those colours but you're getting all four of those within your one day special and the saving is eight pounds on this it's a really good save it's been a very very popular bundle lots of you taking advantage and lots of you adding in additional bits and pieces so here you can see the characters little girl there with her steampunk goggles on there love the decoupage going on there as you can see the cat, of course, cats featuring, I think, within the accessories, if I remember rightly, the larger cat. Um, and again, all the different elements. This is, again, one of the ones from set one or four, which I'll tell you about in just a few moments. But they are all featuring within the collection. And that's the key thing. It's a brand new collection that's been released by That's Crafted. And, of course, using the fabulous artwork of Kelly Horton. And here, again, there is the girl with the fish um, fishtail plait. But doesn't she look different than the other one? She had um, blue um, hair and yellow goggles. But now she's got more of a grungy look, too. 
to her. And I love all these different elements. Gives you the opportunity for you to build up with little kind of charms that you might have in your stash. And I just love the grittiness of that. Very, very effective. And again, it's just a fabulous price. So 295812. If you fancy getting hold of your two sets of stamps and, of course, your crafty board, and the details are there for you. Pop those into your basket. £33.94. But before you check out your basket, do consider going for the other stamps that make up the collection. There's four stamp sets with regards to the characters and then you've got your two accessories. So accessories one and two, a company set one and four that are kind of, um, they complete the whole set. So £54.96, pence. that's going to get you all four sets with all those stamps. There's loads in there. Add in the one day special as well and you are up to speed with regards to all of the designs that we've seen from Kelly. So that means future designs you're going to be able to keep up with and keep all of those in your um, crafty stash. Love these. Well, you've got the little kind of mouse there with the, the little kind of bat wings. You've got the very wise looking bird there. That might be a little owl there. But of course, the beauty is you can play around with these and create all sorts of wonderful characters. So again, you can see some of those elements um, from um, the crafty board being used on one of the MDF frames that I'll be telling you about in a few moments. The wings, again, I'll be telling you about the wings with the crafty board coming up. We've got lots of those. And of course, that fabulous kind of boiler system that you've got, very clever idea, where some of the additional gears and cogs have been added to add a lot of depth and dimension to those pieces. It's just a different way of displaying everything, isn't it? Very clever the way that it's all been designed. £54.96 for your four sets of stamps. So don't forget, do add in that one day special to get everything all on its way to you and you can spread the cost over two payments. And if you do decide to do that, then you'll find that your first payment will be just shy of £45 plus your post and packing. And then of course, in a month's time, you'll have your second payments. But rapidly approaching a quarter of the stock of both of those has gone. So it's been a very popular one, as you can see. Now, the MDF bases, let me tell you about these. Starting off with the shrines, and these ones are your skinny shrines. So with these, you've got your frames. So you've got your frames that are built up. This is kind of the back part of your display. And do go back and watch the 6 o'clock show to see how these come together. Couldn't be simple. You've got your main part in the centre there and the different elements. They've even been laid out. So you literally pop those out and pop them back in, just kind of turn them around 90 degrees. Additional bits and pieces. You've got gears and cogs. And, of course, the fabulous front frame that's going to sit on the box that you've created and then of course you've got your shrine um, arches at here too loads of ways you can work with these i mean i love this idea here you've got a little book that's been created because of course because you're getting multiples of them you could if you wanted to not use them in the way that they were intended but turn them into something different so here you've almost got like a little steampunk cabinet where the two have been hinged together there so there you go you can bring it together like so all that interest around there but then when you open it up you can see it's almost like a little display shadow box very clever idea again brilliant value for me this is the thing that that's crafty always do they bring us such amazing deals and you've got three of those um, boards with those um, frames alongside them for 15 pounds and 49p and you've got all your extra bits and pieces in there as well so Good value bundle, that one. 279135 if you're wanting those. Now, the boiler frames, these have been popular as well. I've not seen anything like these before. And I just think it's a really clever idea. Um, again, you're going to get multiple. So you're going to get four of your frames. You're going to get some of your wonderful kind of gears and cogs as well. So I think it's two repeats of each of them, two of the boilers, and then two of your gears and cogs. Now, of course, I liken them earlier on to say they're a bit like a pendulum on a clock, but there's nothing stopping you having them going off to the side if you wanted to as well. The chain obviously can the two together but if you want to support that and add additional bits as you can see with a couple of these some of the um, the gears have been added to the back of these when uh, just to give them a bit more stability potentially and also so as you can see them from the front because I think it's nice to see kind of that multi-layer effect there coming together and again that technique Joe showed us this technique earlier on using the fabulous wax and the embossing powders you can get some amazing results and of course that grittiness using your pastes as well so um, 11.99 very affordable bundled yet again and at 073098 if you are wanting those down to the crafty board next and again this is where you're going to get those wings so the wings that we saw on the characters then this is the way that you would add them you've also got your clock faces in here of course joe did use those in her demo at 
them at six o'clock. Very canny crafter though is Arjo. Rather than kind of sacrificing two of those clock faces, she took one of them, sliced it down the middle and multi-layered it to give it that depth. And again, you're getting a lot for your money with this one. It's only £11.96 and you've got loads of different bits there. In fact, let me show you. Here you go. Here's the plates. I don't like picking them up in case I knock all the little bits and pieces out. So you can see you've got gears and cogs, some fabulous flowers in there and loads and loads of wings, which are brilliant because they work so well with those little ladies. There you go. 986-758. Just £11.96 for those. And of course, we've been working with stencils from That's Crafty because they bring us loads of fabulous stencils. These are some new additions um, and you might look at them and think, well, hang on a minute, I recognise some of those. Well, you may do, but on a larger scale. These ones have been scaled down to make them into six by sixes, which of course they will work alongside any that you have got already. Do lo I love the ones with the gears, I love the brick wall one, I love the numbers and the alphabets. In fact, I love all of them, but that's not going to be any surprise to you, is it? 212259. On the website is the best place for you to actually go and get your pick and mix because it will show you all the different elements you've got. So quick look will show you there where you can just literally go into your uh, pick and mix and you can pick out the ones that you want. You can scroll through as your leisure. And if you are looking for anything for the seasonal, like your Christmas or your autumnal, then you will be able to find them in there as well. So have a little rummage keep a note of the item number because i think you'll probably revisit as many of you are with regards to the liquid wax it's always a popular one and also your gritty bits as well I saw joe working with some of those earlier on so they really do add a lot of texture to your projects and of course those wonderful inks as well so all those goodies are there if you've got any questions that you like to ask then to do please um, take advantage of joe while she's here and don't forget we are live with you on freeview right the way through to 10 o'clock now so i hope we can count on your company for the rest of the hour and into the next as well so joe how are we getting on what you're right, up to okay this time? so we've got our lovely little darling painted or uh, coloured and I oh, just wow. want to yeah it just she, she come together quite nicely mm. didn't she so what I want to do is I just want to add the nose and I know this sounds a bit silly but if you have a little look on here so it's not actually in the stamp but if you have a little look um, so if we, we go into this one okay because um, it might be a little bit easier to see oh I see yes but yeah so so what I've done is I've got the rose with uh, the spray um, oh, that's how what I've done her face with. So I'm just going to go at the top of her eyebrow, or just where her eyebrow finishes, and just down like so. Then top of her top of her eye, and then down to uh, her nose, just there, and then fill her nose in. It's like all those tutorials you see on YouTube about uh, oh. your, your blending and your oh, contouring oh, and no. all that. <laughs> No, that, that woman, <laughs> nobody would pay to look at that. <laughs> anyway, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, right, so that, that's our, um, we'll, we'll just leave it, leave it at that because I want to go on to the craft board and then see, show how we can actually incorporate that into uh, the thanks, craft board. Jo. I'm going to put my lids on my inks. Is that a good habit to get into? <laughs> it is because I had an incident with one once and it was live on air so it's not oh a good no. idea oh i know it was um hilarious not <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> right so the craft board so in the actual one day special you have got so there's two lots of craft board actually on available on the counter but what you've got on the, in the actual one day special are the frames now these frames are just amazing in fact i'll show you some of them I mean, obviously, with mine now, I'm starting to uh, pick them about a little bit, um, as you can see. <laughs> so, so you've got the, the frame, but of course, you have also got the middle here. So we need okay. tips on how we get these out of the board. Yeah, so most of the bits are just coming out on their own, but they've got little pips um, to keep the, um, the main pieces in. But I'm wondering about leaving that one in. I think I am because I'm going to stencil over it. So I might just, mm, yeah, I think I might leave that one in. Okay. But you can see, right, so let me just take that away. Um, we could, if we wanted to, we could layer the frames up. You've got so many different ones. You've got all of these. I'm not going to, but you could. You've got lots of corners in there as well. And what, um, this frame, look at the size of that frame. It's tremendous, That's isn't huge, it? Yeah. So you can see the size of that. 
Um, the, the crafty boards in the one day special you can yeah. get them by themselves as well so these ones if you wanted to get a second set to work alongside your one day special once you've exhausted those ones then the details are on your screen here these are the ones that Joe's working with at the moment yeah so so lots lots of frames there so you would only use them individually and we'll be using them tomorrow for different bits and pieces as well so what we want to do is we want to create um, some get some color going on these so just pop out what you don't want the one thing that i would advise is that you do pop the little bits out before you put any moisture onto them okay so say we're going to like i'm going to spray onto them and you saw how well it, it actually went onto the spray on the on the clock pieces um on the first demonstration when when it's wet um the the, the crafty board it's quite flexible it's a little bit you can you can um, inadvertently break some of the pieces because you know that that's what's going to happen so either pop them out before you put the um, coloring medium on or wait until it's completely dry and then pop any out but i personally have found that it's easier to do it before so if you just make a point of doing that all right, so I've, I've done those corners because I might use those. I'm definitely going to use these flowers. Love these flowers. They really are smashing. And some of the girls have made some beautiful, um, jo a lovely job of using those. I'm going to just put that to one side because I'm going to spray. And knowing me, I'll have took all that time to colour in. I love the then... way you've moved everything. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I I'm not, um, you know, I'm not the cleanest of... Um, uh, right, I'm going to go with the aqua because I've got some of that lovely aqua in the... There we go. So this is the flat mat. You d uh, there is uh, the aqua in the... There we go, look at that. Can you see how it just soaks straight in? Gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. You c it colours. This col Now, I did have one piece there that I should have took out, but it has come out no problem. If that had been one with a little pip on it, that would have, you know, you would have had to have waited. So just bear that in mind. And I'm speaking from experience, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I tried to poke some bits out before and it didn't work very well. Right, so I'm going to use up this, um, this ink look. Oh, wow. Yeah. By just picking, and that's how absorbent it is. It's beautiful. It really is. I love working with this. Um, and uh, I, I also like the fact that it is so light. I know we've mentioned it several times, but I think um, the thing is, if you if you want to card, I don't set, I don't mean just card make, because obviously card making is a, a skill of its own. But if you if you are card making, and you want to do a mixed media card, which is really really popular, as you know, because we do them here, um, sometimes you struggle to get embellishments that you can actually put on your project without it being too weighty. But this is ideal. It really is quite ideal. So we need to uh, colour. So there, that's, uh, I love, what I love about it is that the fact that it's just soaked right in, but it's giving you that really lovely coverage isn't it that's and it's you, nice you can see i've you used see hardly any of the color can't you yeah almost, it really is quite super and if you wanted to what you could do i'm not i'm not going to do because not on this occasion but maybe tomorrow we could have a little play with that you could maybe do like an ombre type idea Ooh, with just yeah. picking different areas up and as long as you gave you know you gave yourself time for it to dry look at that Oh, wow. <laughs> so we've got more than enough on that one. So I'm going to use that now to pick these up. And also, if you saw here, look, look. Oh, that's nice. They do, Ooh, they yeah, create stunning stencils. I, I think having a pack like of the cogs and, and the flowers and keeping that as stencils, I think they would make a super job. Really would. So that's our two... Um, flowers okay so just uh just take that off there just bear with me a second while I just just wet that a second and then i want to put a little bit more on on that um actually it's not as bright as i would have liked that's better 
It's got to be right, hasn't it? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Now, the sprays right. that Joe's just been working with, um, lots of you going for these, so let me show you how you get hold of them. You can choose any three of these. Now, they are flat matte, as you can see there on your screen there. You're going to get three of them for £14.97. And the intensity of colour of these, incredible. But, of course, I'm sure you can add additional bits and pieces to these, or, indeed, mm -hmm. spray them into other bits and pieces as well. So, uh, yeah, if you fancy getting those, what a choice. There's loads there, as you can see there. Raspberry, walnut, redwood. Oh, which ones are you going to go for? Um, whichever you choose, pop them into your basket and keep a note of that item number because I think you'll revisit these so it's always useful to have them because you can go to the brand section of our website anytime mm. and get hold of those so uh, yeah 125097 yeah. for those that they, they are really really fantastic sprays the thing is they last for such a long time you saw just one spray um, you do get quite dirty fingers but then <laughs> that's <laughs> crafting isn't it <laughs> right so um, I'm just going to take in a little bit of this lilac and now this is the multi surface paint. Actually, it's lavender. I'm sorry. I always call it lilac. I never know because the difference more, between know. lavender and lilac. To be honest, it's going to be a slight difference. I think lilacs have got a tad more blue. Okay. Yeah, I think. I, mm, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm just going to take that on because what I want to do is I just want to dry brush on the edges here, like so, and that's just picking up. I want to. I, I wanted to show you that you, it can be pretty. It doesn't have to be. You know, you don't have to just necessarily take these stamps and make them grungy and steampunky, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but what we've got available is just super as well on the show. So, obviously. So, you've got that blue still. And we're going to put oh, this yes, young lady together. in there. So, so, the blue's coming through there. Might just put a tad bit of, just the tiniest bit of purple as well. just on those edges to bring the purple in from the... That's a good tip, actually, to kind of coordinate everything and yeah, tie like everything to do together. That. Um, it just brings... It doesn't... So, so in other words, your, the whole project isn't just... The, pe the bit that you've done isn't just a standalone and you've just decided to colour up a frame and, mm -hmm. and just popped it in the middle of your, um, of your project, really. And the same goes with the flowers if we just put a little bit on the edge of the flowers now joe just to give you a little bit of a time check oh We've yes probably got about seven minutes left oh wow so. where did that go yeah oh, having too much fun having far too much fun right so we're going to place her there i think and then we're going to put one of the flat in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to do what we did earlier and i'm going to cut it in half now we didn't see you do this earlier on just scissors ah, oh, right. no because no, i did ah. actually do it before so you can see there look i am this just ordinary pair Gosh, of easy. scissors this is how <laughs> this is this is genius this is what not genius because i've just cut that <laughs> you know what i mean some of your best work that has oh, been. some of my my, my <laughs> best work yes it's going to go in the hall of hachanda fame <laughs> so i just got <laughs> oh dear i'm just going to put a little bit of this on so it doesn't just stand out on its own and then what we can do look we can just pop little bits just underneath oh, like that's so nice. And then, if we wanted to, we could... And it's lovely, because do, doing that, you can kind of see the yellow that's come out of the frame when yeah. you've been having the colour. That's right. So we've, we've incorporated all the colours around, haven't we? If I put that onto some white, you can see that better, apart from being on the dirty mat look there. So, so we can... Um, you can see where we were going for with that. that looks and if we wanted to, obviously, what we could do is... If we wanted to, we could put a frame underneath. If we wanted to build it that little bit more, or or at the top or at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? So you can and also the other way round as well. So the, the kind of the angular bit could go underneath your frame. Yes, of course. Like yes, because you're going to put this onto something. So the front of a card would be ideal um, to actually stand it on a front of a card. So that would be super. So really, the the other thing that I thought we could uh, let me just show you. Um, this was the other thing, just to give it that uh, extra little um, pretty, as such. Oh, what have you is, got there, Joe? Oh, and this is the 3D holographic um, gel medium, which everybody knows I just adore. 
Oh, this is the one that dries clear, but it's got that sparkle yeah, in there. It's got the holographic sparkle to it. Oh, our viewers have found this already, Jo. Yeah, it's just tremendous. Um, and actually, it's. Um, I, I used it earlier on in the day on the Castle Craft on the Christmas. So ah. it was actually originally for Christmas. It's a big um, size pot, that. Oh, yeah, it lasts for ages. It really does. So if you just go round. Oh, it doesn't help that I've got yellow on my finger. You can see where I'm coming from here. If you just stipple with a little bit over the edge of the frame, look. Can you see? I'm going to just wiggle So will that keep its dimension? Can you see? Yeah, it, if you wanted it to, it will do. So you can put it through a stencil. Um, no problem at all. We'll do much more of that tomorrow using the stencils and, okay. and bits. Um, but yeah, so... so so look at um, obviously the crafty board, um, you know, paint it, spray it, um, do all the different things with it. Obviously, you could have used your, um, the satin inks as well onto it as well. But pretty up your stamps as well as lovely. making them. So so really, just in the last couple of a uh, couple of hours, we've gone from really grungy mm -hmm. with it with this one although she's absolutely adorably beautiful but really grungy and she sits lovely on there to really quite pretty lovely yeah and that, and that's so. the thing it just shows you it's kind of the light the light and the shade of the whole thing isn't it as they yes. say so joe yeah. thank you so much it's my now, pleasure of course, as joe mentioned there she's going to be back with us tomorrow and she's planning on using more of those mediums with the stencils so why not jump ahead and get hold of those you can see there that's crafty bring us an entire range of different mediums and paste and you can see they've got some fabulous reviews so if you fancy having a little look at those treat yourself to a little click on those and have a little look at what like-minded crafters have been saying about them but of course Jo uses them regularly not just on the that's crafty shows but in her regular shows as well so it shows how wonderful they are if you're wanting to get hold of some gesso as well we've got a lovely pick and mix there as well so you can get hold of your gesso in a variety of different combinations white gesso black gesso combinations of the two and of course throughout Jo has been using that fabulous that's crafty glue to pop all the elements in pay, place so make sure you're popping some of that into your basket at the same time and of course we are here because it's a one day special coming to the end of the second hour with regards to those <laughs> nearly it nearly went not quite it nearly went um, and uh, yeah of course tomorrow morning we're going to see joe back here bright and early at eight o'clock so i hope you are going to be able to join her i'll be teaming up with joe i think again tomorrow at midday if i remember the schedule rightly and of course we will have your final call at four o'clock but do not leave it to that length of time to get hold of yours often we're busy through the night time hours and we could have a totally different story to tell you in the morning so make sure you take advantage of yours while you've got the chance but of course it's a one day special it's a brand new um kind of strange to the That's Crafty Bow and we are talking about the artwork of Kelly Horton. You might recognise the style, you might recognise that name because of course Kelly has been a guest here at Achanda with her amazing colouring books and of course the beauty is you can create these over and over again because they are stamps. Now of course within your one day special you've got a lovely array of stamps, different styles, very strong characters I'm sure you'll agree with these but of course the ability to stamp them over and over again which means that you've got an endless supply of these wonderful pieces. Now of course you've got your one day special and you have got your additional sets um, one and set four as well as the accessories and of course lots of you've been going for everything so for every one day special a lot of people have been going for that complete it um, kind of bundles through everything so a quarter of the stock has gone of both your one day special and those additional stamps as well and of course the beauty is you can pop them all into your basket and spread the cost and we've got some wonderful examples whether you want to go pretty as we saw joe showing us just a few moments ago or whether you want to go quite kind of grungy and earthy earthy and almost like a, a kind of a rust at, um, effect with these then you can do it quite easily different ways you can work with those fabulous boxes so again you can see there one of your characters from your one day special with her little steampunk goggles another one here with a much lighter but it's exactly the same stamp that is a beauty you can get a totally different look if you start changing out some of those color options within there and that is the beauty of working with a stamp set that have got amazing artwork in there don't just keep them though for your 
your frames and your kind of um, home decor pieces don't forget you can use them in things like your cards all sorts of different occasions and of course there is very much that steampunk theme running throughout the country lots of people get involved with steampunk events and again here those characters just lend themselves so well to that style so if you wanted to get hold of your one day special you'll get that saving right the way through until six o'clock tomorrow evening that's when that price will go up but of course you won't leave it that late i don't want you to miss out with these at all but if you want in those additional elements let me share those with you as well so these are the additional set of two so you've got set one and set four completing all of those sets and then you've got your accessories there so your accessories are featuring loads of little bits that will add to the frames add to the concept build up those designs and really give you a whole host of design to work with that is the beauty they all work so so well but work so well individually as well don't forget some of those substrates as well that we've got on the show as well things like the boiler the house boiler that we were talking about earlier on things like those um ski um, the, what were they the skinny shrines skinny shrines um and then of course card making using some of the elements like the stencils that we've seen on the show and of course this brickwork featuring from the stencils the accessories giving you loads of additional bits and pieces that of course are going to work alongside and don't forget those wonderful frames being part of your one day special with your crafty board joe thank you so much again My pleasure. so much from you when you're coming in it's good to, it's good to have you here and passing on that knowledge Absolutely. thank you um, you're back again in the morning bright and early eight o'clock lovely we will look forward to it <laughs> now joe is going to be back tomorrow morning i'm going to be back after the break because of course here at chanda we are broadcasting live on freeview right the way through to 10 o'clock so i'm not going anywhere i hope you aren't either and you're going to keep me company see you in a moment